Hey friends and once again welcome back to my channel. This video is all about fixing the issue. Your PC needs to be repaired. A required device is not connected or can't be accessed with the following error code. So without wasting time, let's go ahead and proceed. Let's proceed with the basic troubleshooting steps. So first of all, let's start with the basic troubleshooting steps. If you have attached any external device to a system such as external keyboard, mouse, SSD, SDD, go ahead, unplug it and then restart your PC to fix out the issue. Nextly is select your first boot device as your SDD or SSD, whichever you have in the boot menu of your PC. These two conditions you must follow in order to fix out the issue. Now if simple steps doesn't work out, let's proceed with the advanced troubleshooting steps. At this particular screen, you need to go ahead, turn off your PC using the power key. Once you turn it off, go ahead and restart your PC. And once you see a screen, again turn it off. Do the same process at least 3 to 4 times until you see a screen diagnosing your PC. I'll go ahead and do the same process for you so that you will be able to judge how you can do that. Now click on the advanced options and here you need to click on the option troubleshoot. Now click on the option advanced options. One more thing friends, if your system doesn't start with the startup settings as it is showing after turning off and on your PC 3 to 4 times, you need to use a Windows 10 or Windows 11 USB drive to give first boot data and then you need to select the option repair your computer instead of the option install now. Once you have chosen the option repair your computer, you will end up with the same page of the troubleshoot. Now here click on the option command form. Choose the login ID. If there is any password, you need to enter the password and hit the continue button. Now in command form, we are going to rebuild your BCD. Type here boot rack space slash fix MBR and hit the enter key. Now second command is boot rack space slash fix boot and hit the enter key again. If it is giving you access is denied, type here boot sec t space slash nt60 space sys and hit the enter key. Now type the same command again which is boot rack space slash fix boot. Now hit the enter key. Now this time operation is successful. Now type the third command which is boot rack space slash rebuild bcd and hit the enter key. Now it has successfully rebuilt the BCD. Now go ahead and restart your system. Close it from here. Now click on the turn off option and then restart your PC and check if you are still getting the error of 0xc0000e. Now if this method fails out, let's proceed with the next step. Again, head over to the same screen of the advanced options, command prompt. This time type here, disk part and hit the enter key. Now type here, list space disk and hit the enter key again. Now select your disk. My disk is disk 0. So I'll type select disk 0 and hit the enter key. Now once the disk is selected, type online disk and hit the enter key. Now as it is saying, the disk is already online. So we have done onlining the disk. Now type exit, close the command prompt again, turn off your PC and then try to restart your computer and check if the error of the issue your PC needs to be repaired is still exist or not. If the error is still there, the only hope, the last hope we have is to do a clean installation of Windows. In order to do that, you need to have a Windows USB drive which is attached to your system and provide the first boot drive to a USB. I'll go ahead and show you how you can do that. Press any key to boot from the window. Select your language, time and here you need to click on the option install now. Choose the option I don't have a product key. Choose the addition of windows you would like to install. Accept the terms and conditions. Click on the custom option and over here you need to select the drive and hit the next button to continue installing the windows in your system. Make sure friends. You do a recovery of your data because it will wipe out the data of your C drive. 
it won't delete any data from other drives but delete the data only from a drive that you selected in which you would like to install windows in your pc this simple trick will either install windows for you or fix out the issue of your pc needs to be repaired with error code 0xc000000e this is all about it friends this is how you will fix the issue of bsod error if this video works out for you i request you to please click on the subscribe button and turn on the bell notification icon to continue receiving updates from my channel thank you so much friends thank you for watching